What's up guys? We are doing the review today for the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes movie. I just got done watching it a little bit ago and I really liked it a lot. It really I really liked it a lot. I have to redo my recording for this because I found it, it's been so difficult to record this. Not the recording process, but uploading it and if I should do it in parts and then combine the the clips or just I don't know. So hopefully this will be better. Anyways. Spoiler alert, to start off with one, spoiler, like, if I could, we're going to cross here. Uh, spoiler alert, and let's get down to it. This movie was really, really well done. I really liked it. Better than the first one by far. Movie starts out, we have a nice shot in the forest of Caesar and all the apes from the first one. Um, they're out in the forest hunting, and as that bit of prologue goes on, we see Caesar has a family. All the apes live together in the forest in like little tree houses against the hillside. Very, very well off the apes are. Caesar has a family. Uh, he he um, has a child. He has a wife. He actually has two kids. He um. I had the oldest son who's old enough to fend for himself pretty much, but he's a part of the, he, he's very close to Caesar, and that's how Caesar likes it. They also just had a newborn child. He's just so tiny. He, he's really cute, though. Oh. And then, um, as the prologue goes on, all the apes, we're still finding out more about the apes and how their lifestyle is, and it's more of de it's a lot more deeper into the lifestyle of the apes and how they are. And what I really liked about it is when the apes were talking most of the time, besides the sign language, they were using subtitles, which I really liked. I like I really liked the subtitles. It made me go, get into how the apes were feeling a lot more. And um, after this, we find that the apes in the long, in the apes find out that. Well, before I get into that, but during the prologue there was a um, pandemic. I guess pandemic would be an alright word for it. There was something called the simian flu that went around. It killed a lot of the humans and it caused a really, really big ruckus to happen in the whole world. Apes weren't affected, but tons and tons of humans were dying by the minutes. And over through the years, people were just dying and they didn't think any humans were left. So through the prologue and through the apes of us seeing it, we find out that there's still some humans left out in New York, in um, San Francisco. And they're living out there, surviving from what they can with how little resources they have. And the apes and humans come out of crosshair at one point to where the apes are saying, we do not want war with the humans. We do not want this. But if it comes down to it and our lives are in risk, we will not be afraid to go to war. So the main character, the main human character, which I don't know his name for the life of me, he is really drawn to the apes. It's like how James Franco was in the first movie. He's really drawn to the apes, wanna make peace, doesn't want to cause any trouble. And with him comes his wife and a son, which aren't his biological son or wife. Everyone's pretty much old family died because of the flu. Everyone who was alive still from the flu is because of their genetics. So that's why they're alive and um so pretty much his whole family wants to try and make peace with the monkeys. Everyone else is kind of on edge because, you know, fucking apes, guys. Let's freak the fuck out. But they walk on all floors. Oh, my God. So hairy. You know, look at my back. I'm hairy, too. Might as well be an ape myself. But, um, anyways. So as it goes through, the humans are trying to make a deal with the apes on this dam so they can get some power. Because they crave power right now because... They're really low on fuel, so they need some power. Over the course of a couple days, the humans are able to get some power from the the dam. It gets working after a whole bunch of other things happen, like the apes are talking about should we even trust the humans? They've they've attacked us and shot us before. And there's one certain ape that seems like the bad guy in all of this is Copa. Copa or Cob. Koba or Kopo, something like that. Starts with a K. It's kind of hard for me to remember all this, but Caesar, I mean, he's like the main ape. So, this guy does not, the main bad guy, Kopa, Kopo, or whatever, he does not like, 
humans at all. He hates humans because of what they experimented on him in, like, in the first movie. They, he hates humans. He will not trust one. So throughout the movie, through those days of getting the dam ready for power for the humans, he's been spying on the humans, te looking at them, seeing what they have. They have humans got, like, an army base. If you've seen the new Transformers movie, probably that big full of guns. I mean, it's a lot of weapons, even a rocket launcher, which makes you wonder why are there guns and all this shit in San Francisco in the first place. Just saying. And he doesn't tell Caesar, but he goes in on his own because he thinks the bad monkey, the bad ape, thinks that Caesar can't handle it. He trusts humans too much where it might kill him, is going to kill Caesar eventually. So he takes matters into his own hands. Once the apes have finally earned the humans' respect, he turns on Caesar and kills him. No one sees his but Caesar of who killed him, which is his own ape. And they have a saying. Ape, not kill ape. It's their saying. And he broke that, but no one else saw. And obviously, everyone in the theater, especially me, was like, What the fuck? And it went on from that to be Kopu or Kaba, whatever his name is, taking over the ape, saying that humans did this. Let's go attack them right now. Let's bombard them right now with everything we got. And during that process, the humans are getting ready because they can hear the monkeys coming. They're all partying, have a celebration, not knowing what's going on. And then once they start going at it... And meanwhile, during this movie, you, you should know this, that cop, that main evil monkey, main evil ape, is trying to get closer and closer to Caesar's eldest son, who's on the verge of... Doesn't know what to do, not listening to his father, and all this stuff. It's a really good storyline with these apes. It, it was really shocking to see this. And so during this, he follows that evil ape, Kabu or Koopa, wherever his name is. He follows him into war. He's ju he's iffy on it, but he follows him. And as they all storm San Francisco, the war's breaking out. Like the San Francisco guys are shooting off hella bullets at them. Apes are going at them with horses. Yeah, they can tame horses. They got guns of their own that they stole from their supply raid. They're just going at it. They're going rocket launchers, a tank. It's just crazy. And everything, they had a real nice shot of Caesar's son just looking at everything happening. He just doesn't know what to do. He's so frightened and of fear. And freaking cop was going through it like he's freaking like the best in the world. Like he's just going like it like it ain't nothing. It's just crazy. And he's not giving a fuck. I mean, he he shot through everything. He went to the front of the lines and back. Got, stole some, stole an ape's horse that it was his friend. Went back, went back to the front lines and back. And then took a tank and an LMG, busted through the front door. The freaking monkey's raising hell. He's, he's a... <laughs> Jesus. And... During this, the main character, Human, who was helping with the dam, he's making it back to the city to help out and see what's going on. Well, he runs into Caesar, and Caesar's still alive. And from there, they take him back to the original house from the first movie, get Caesar well back together, and Caesar tells them it was an ape who did this, not Human. This is why this is happening right now, because the ape was stupid as fuck. So... They get Caesar to the uh, to the city, and they free all the apes. They they um the evil monkey character, ape character, Kabu Kovu. He imprisoned all the apes that followed Caesar still that trusted him and they didn't want to follow Kabu or Kovu, whatever his name is. God, I hate the thing doing that. He imprisoned them, and then Caesar's son, who found out eventually that Caesar was alive, thanks to the human character, main character, it all comes together. Caesar has a couple friends now, plus his son, who's found the right path and knows he's wrong. Then now they're going to the top of the main tower the experiments were to face Kabu and sell this once and for all so Caesar can have his title back as King of the Apes. Pretty much, that sense. 
while the humans are trying to figure out how can we make it to where all these other stupid humans are trying to kill the apes, not do nothing until Caesar can handle this. Because apparently they plant C4 all over the building to where it'll blow up and cause just mad chaos. But it blows up anyways. And while Caesar and Kabu Kovu I swear those are wrong names. Look it up on the Wikipedia probably. They have a Wikipedia for the movie probably already. I probably been, probably I'm way off on the names or something, but they're still battling out, even as the building's falling, it's going really crazy. We get to the final part of the battle where Kabu is holding onto a girder and Caesar is thinking about helping him out or not. I mean you already know. If you if you watch the movie you're looking at this, and she's just like, oh, I might help you out. But I'm like, there's no way they're going to do this. I mean, everyone in the theater was like, no, he's not going to. I'm like, you know he's not going to. Anyways, she doesn't help him. He, he grabs his hand, tries to pull him up. But before he even pulls him up, he's like, Kabu, before Caesar even grabbed him, Kabu said, ape, no kill ape. And then Caesar goes and grabs him and says, you are no ape and drops him and we suspect he dies I mean we don't have any suggestion that he lived so we're guessing he died it was a pretty nasty fall he had some girders on the way down Pff, a lot of carnage so from that point Caesar rallies the apes up the humans that are the good humans the family that I've been talking about they find Caesar and then Caesar tells him you must go and leave the humans are telling him you must go and leave they both were telling each other he must go and leave because this war is about to break out. And the humans, apparently, because they're so freaking war bent and we're so stupid, they called the military already that they got a hold of somehow. And now they're coming to San Francisco to fight the, off the apes or whoever to save their own a asses. And so Caesar tells them the war cannot be stopped. We start, apes started it and we're going to have to deal with it and we're going to have to do what we can. So Caesar pretty much tells his family. Go on, please don't get involved in this, do not hurt yourselves, be safe. And he calls him a friend, they hug it out, They the family leaves. Caesar walks back with his family who was there, His, his all of the family he had lived, thank God. His newborn son, his oldest son, and his wife lived, thank God. And then all the apes that are around in that building turn to Caesar as like their lord and savior because he's going to lead them to greatness like he did in the first one and part of this this new movie. And the movie just ends on a close-up of Caesar and, and that's it. That's the movie. So from this movie we pretty much got to look onto this. This movie pretty much was a basis of the start of the war. Like the Pre pre war, after the apes have been living in harmony for a while, and then there's a flu because of the uh, there's a flu not because of the apes there's a flu because of the medicine that was being used in the first movie there's a there's a flu because of that Alzheimer medicine that James Franco was using on his on his dad that's what caused the flu epidemic that killed all the humans so. The apes have been living in harmony ever since, but the humans are blaming the apes. And since they've seen what the apes can do, that's what that's what this, this is what's going to happen. The humans are going to go to war with the apes, and we will probably see the actual full-on war or post-war in the third movie that comes out. I don't know what it could be called, but it'll be out. I'm pretty sure there'll be two or three more movies, which I'm excited about because I'm really into this series. And. Yeah, this movie was really good. I give it a pretty good rating, like 7.5 or 8 out of 10. It was amazing. I really enjoyed watching this. My uncle took me to go see it. It was amazing. I, I did have nothing wrong with the movie. The main thing I liked was there were subtitles for the monkeys at certain points. The good storyline plots with the apes. It was awesome. The whole movie was great. And... This one pretty much was a post-war. It was the, it was not post-war, pre, pre-war of everything getting settled in to where we can actually know that this is why it's happening. Apes wanted peace, but some stupid ape fucked it all up to where now this is what has to happen. Because humans are stupid. 
So hopefully we find out what's going on. And hopefully in the next year or so we find a trailer for the third movie. It's going to take a while to make, I'm pretty sure. This one took about two and a half years. So we won't see nothing else probably for a couple years. But hopefully we hear something about it. So guys, I hope you watch the movie for yourself at some point. It's still in theaters right now. At least from the point where I'm recording this and uploading it. It's still in theaters. And I'll just maybe get it on DVD when it comes out. Netflix, whatever you guys want to watch it on. Try and watch it, please. It's a really good film. And I hope you guys enjoy this review. It's my first review ever, so thank you guys for watching it. Hopefully there will be more for me in the, in the future. Um, please like, subscribe, favorite, whatever. It really is much appreciated. And thank you guys for watching my review. I will hopefully upload another video sooner or later. And thank you guys for watching. It's been great. And hopefully this will actually upload on YouTube. I want to record again. <laughs> for this video at least. Anyways, thanks guys. I will talk to you all later. Thank you for watching. And Corey out.